So this video I just thought I'd do a little quick fun one and this one I was going to be talking about different witchy things that you can do on the daily. Like everyday life for the majority of people is obviously super busy like whether you work full time or you're a mom or you're at school or you're a student in university or whatever like every single day you're not going to have time to be doing elaborate, uh, elaborate rituals and spells and things that take a, a lot of time and energy and things like that just because you're super busy and you may be exhausted when you finish your day and whatever so I thought that I would give you a few things that a few little witchy things that you can do every day to sort of incorporate aspects of the craft into your daily life so if you see me looking that way I have uh, some notes that I've written so I don't forget anything so I do apologize and I'll try not to sort of keep looking that way too much but yeah so let's uh, carry on then so the first thing you could do is to cleanse your cleanse your space so that could be something as simple as changing uh, changing your um, bed sheet say if your altar like myself you do or you're practicing and stuff like that in your bedroom you could change just be you could just change your bed sheets or vacuum the floor or if you have a pile of laundry dirty laundry on the floor you could go and put that in the wash or or what if you've got makeup scat on the floor from when you're getting ready you could put that away or you could dust your altar anything like simple things like that it doesn't have to be something elaborate as like lighting a sage bundle and doing a big cleansing ritual although that would be cool you could if you wanted to and you had time to you could even do things like um clapping or ringing a bell or anything like that just to sort of um clear up that stagnant um sort of stagnant energy get everything sort of flowing again opening windows is another good one to sort of give a sort of freshen up to your space also as well if you have a uh, like a garden or a backyard or if you have any sort of plants like household plants outdoor plants in the window box or whatever um tending tending to those like looking after those like um watering them or cutting off any sort of um dead buds or anything like anything like that sort of uh, freshening up the soil repotting if they need whatever like that's something that's that you can do sort of it can take like two minutes and sort of helps to give you that sort of um like witchy positivity so to speak meditation is another good one that if you have time or if you want to um incorporate into your day it doesn't need to be a big massive meditation that like i sometimes struggle with meditation i personally find guided meditations more helpful than i sort of struggle if i didn't do guided meditation you could do it doesn't need to be a long like hour meditation like you got like an awesome yoga mat and you're sat like in lotus position or whatever like it could be something as simple like i like to do like at the end of the day when I get into bed I like to um, put on a small a, a short guided meditation and just just sort of um, relax and focus and sort of like contemplate like what's happened in my day and what's coming what I'm sort of um, expecting or hoping or intending to manifest for the following day days ahead sort of thing so that's something that you could do and there's lots of uh youtube videos and books and all sorts of stuff like on how to meditate and different types of meditations and things like that also as well you could practice divination if there is a form of divination that you've been interested in like if you really want to learn uh, oracle cards or tarot reading or um, how to use um, runes or scrying crystal ball or pendulum or anything 
like you could get a say if you're wanting to learn more about tarot you could get a deck or if you've already got a deck that calls to you there's so many videos and books and podcasts and all different types of things on how to learn tarot so you could get what a, get a book or whatever have a journal and just every day you could spend five minutes at the end or the start of your day just um reading up about tarot or practicing um a spread or whatever it may be also as well charging your crystals if you have into crystals and you have crystals and you use those as part of your magic and your craft you could charge those up so you could charge those up there's lots of ways you could do that you could do i like to charge mine under the moon so i usually put mine on my windowsill when i know it's going to be like a full moon you could put yours outside you could even use the sun whatever but it's also important that you make sure that your type of crystals whatever crystals you have a certain crystals can get damaged like um if you charge them up in water if you use water to charge them it can dissolve or they can get damaged in direct sunlight so it's important that you know like whatever crystal you're wanting to charge that the method you're using to charge it is not going to damage it in any way also as well lighting some incense or lighting some candles that is a simple way to sort of get your get your witch on so to speak so you can light some nice incense and nice candles and it just i feel like it just helps you to connect to your sort of witchy self as sometimes i feel like our mundane lives can sort of like take over and something as simple as lighting a nice candle or some incense like it just creates a vibe like it just helps you to sort of I don't know when you become off balance it helps you just sort of get back to that balance sort of groove sort of thing also one of my favorite things i love to do is going for a walk in nature i i just find it so therapeutic and i just find it helps me so much to connect to my practice to my path just just to the fresh air and the surroundings and just hearing nature and seeing beautiful flowers and the smells and everything i just find it really really helps me to um sort of reconnect and sort of be remember what's important in my life and things like that like since especially since we've had this sort of um lockdown situation um, because of the virus I have been going out for daily walks for a few miles most days and I've just really found that it's been really helpful to get my witchy groove on so I mean when the world starts to get back to a bit more normal I need to try and keep that up so that's definitely something I would really recommend also as well reading a book on your craft that is something that i also love to do that really really like um puts me in a really sort of positive mood like really gets like me on a high like gets me on a high vibe sort of situation like i love i have so many books on the craft sometimes i reread stuff if i haven't read it for a while sometimes like i could forget what i've read or to be fair like i have this thing where i just buy books on witchcraft it's kind of like an addiction <laughs> like i have so many i buy so many and i just love them and i do read them just not straight away and sometimes it takes me a while to get around to it but oh i just have an addiction i really do so i always have something like witchy related that i could be reading and sometimes i only read a few pages but i just it just is another thing that helps me to gives me inspiration and how and motivation it helps just to just be cool you know so yeah would recommend that one and also uh, lastly enjoying the moon i love the moon i feel really called to the moon and i love just sort of like looking out at night time and seeing what phase she's in or sometimes sort of like going out for a, a nighttime walk or anything like that i just I just love the moon so that's something as well that 
can help you connect to your craft and especially when you're first starting out as well it can sometimes be hard to to sort of differentiate always differentiate whether than what phase the moon is in whether she's um waxing or waning so it is good practice every night is what i used to do is just look out with the moon and it'd be surprising how quickly you'll get used to um, looking at her and knowing what phase she's in so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope these few tips um helped you and gave you some inspiration for your path and your practice so if you liked this video please like it and comment below with any suggestions or things you want to see in the future from this channel or if you have any other sort of witchy uh, tips and tricks that you do on the daily to help you connect to your path as i would love to hear those so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted